Let me show you an insanely strong battle axe build that you can use in the mists of Albion. And to be honest, get yourself some great, great fights with it. This is a build that can fight range players. It can fight melee players. It's overall one of the best balanced builds out there in the game at the moment. And it also helps you PvE quite fast. Did I spark your interest? Well, then you'll be pleased to know that this is the build that you want to be using. Not necessarily with this tier. This build also works with 6.1 because it's just one of those surprising builds. You don't expect it to do so much damage or at least not as much damage as it does the build goes like this you want to have hunter hood third spell first passive you want to have assassin jacket second spell second passive sometimes you might want to swap the third spell i'm going to explain when and why you want to have soldier boots second spell second passive or any plate boots you just need the second spell that's just you go soldier so in case you need to escape you can swap to wanderlust for no fan you want to have the mist collar which reduces your cooldowns you want to have the undead cape which might be a lifesaver for you turning you invisible for six seconds whenever you drop below low 15% HP, Roasted Pyramid Snapper increases your HP and also makes you life steal. You want to have a healing pot and it would be ideal to carry some invis pots with you as well if you feel like you want to escape with this a little bit easier. Greetings my fellow viewers, fret not for I am Mogdan's trusty hat and I come bearing good news. If you enjoy watching my master's content on YouTube then you will be pleased to know that it's all recorded live on Twitch. By joining us on Twitch you'll not only get a sneak peek of upcoming videos but also have the opportunity to win giveaways and drops and just hang out with a lively and amazing community so come on over and join us now we're most likely live at this very moment click the link in the description down below or in the pinned comment to join us then the infamous battle axe now here is where some people might have a problem with this because you need the third Q, and the third Q requires pretty 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 high mastery i guess i should I should call it pretty high levels it's the last spell that you unlock on the track it's gonna be a grind but it's a grind that is well worth it this queue looks like this it has three stages all the stages apply a bleed stack on your enemy if you use the third stage it's gonna go on a long cooldown if you want to go uh, the effective way dps wise it's a very effective to use the first and second queue the third one is only good for catching people let's say those guys try to run away from me i'll just do this and boom i caught them now the reason you want to have those q stacks on your enemy there's two reasons first of all that reduces the healing received which is great anti-heal anti-healers like it's a great anti-heal skill and second of all it boosts the damage of your e the e just like the Q has three stages, the E has two stages. The first stage deals damage based on the amount of bleed stacks on your enemy. And the second E heals you based on the amount of bleed stacks. This is how it looks like. You can throw them right away or just keep the first E and throw that one. Because if you keep the first E, similar to how the Q works, you're going to get your E back in a lower amount of time. So you're going to be able to, if you just throw the first E, like the E that um, deals damage, not the E that heals, you're actually going to be able to do more damage in the long run because it's not going to go on the longer cooldown. Uh, if you, however, decide to use the second E, then it's going to go on cooldown. But sometimes you might need to do that because, again, second E is actually the E that heals you. And it heals you for quite a lot. Uh, then you have the W. The W is a dash that also increases your heal and reduces the heal of your enemy. Then you want to have the R, which increases your resistance by a lot. And also makes you reflect about 40% of the damage. The D is also a resistance increase lower than the R. And it reflects more, 85%. And then you have your F, which is the main source of mobility. Now, some things that you might want to know. In case you got yourself very good loot, or maybe you want to focus just on PvEing, it's a good idea to switch to this and to this. With those two abilities, you will have a much, much easier time escaping. Another thing, if you're finding a brawler and you are fully confident that you're not going to need to kite, it's a good idea to swap to this as well. If you're not sure, it's the best the best idea probably is to just stick with this. Because in the mists, even though you're fighting a brawler, somebody might come in and you might need to start running. It's a good idea to have this. Yes, I know this also allows you to run, but it's less effective than this, at least in my opinion. It's less effective than this in my opinion. That's about everything you need to know about this. Let's just, uh, yeah, let's just go and test it out real, uh, real quick. Let's just go and test it out together. Always feel free to pop in whatever question you might have. And if I don't know the answer, I'll just consult the hat. Oh, that was risky. I could have pulled those guys. How did you get pulled? Can I separate you? I think I can. Oh, come on! Bro, those mobs are annoying. 
those mobs are just annoying. I, d I mean, I could fight them, but I don't want to fight them. I've already fought. Let me, j let me just get the chest. Please don't aggro. Perfect. And it's a rare one. Let's go. 157k, chat. People are saying this is not good. I don't know what they're saying. Let's go. Healers, man. Healers, man. Let's go. Genuinely a good build. Uh, picking our fights very carefully. We cannot fight Hellion Jackets. Not battle axes with Hellion Jackets. Because that's a clear advantage for them. We cannot fight... Uh... Uh, there are some, some things that we cannot fight. Mage robes. I don't even want to see a mage robe. But yeah. We're having some fun, chat. We're making a bank. Uh, later on, chat, I'm going to be showcasing the new Fire Staff meta and some other cool Crop the Dungeon build. You can have the chest, my dude. You've done an outstanding job. You've done an outstanding work over here, my man. Oh, wow, that was one pixel away. Okay, I gotta... One eternity later. Let's go. Caches are good. I got a, a tier 6 Mistwalker jacket from an uncommon one. Man, let's hope I... So from the caches, that is pretty nice. Oh, he done an oopsie, chat. Oh, he's done an oopsie. Oh, he, he has done a big oopsie, chat. Let's go! 92k! Yay! The Sweat Lord prevails! Everyone is using 8.4 in Yellow Zone Mist Dungeons. Yes, because they're just winning. Straight up, they're just winning. It's free silver, you don't have to go to the hustle of gearing up. I'll be honest. Always check the mob drops. Always check the mob drops, chat. <laughs> that is true, you guys. You lost me, chat. See, the good thing is that my wife is also working on the channel. We're both working on uh, the YouTube channel. I make the videos, she edits them. Without her, I wouldn't be able to post more than one video every two days. Where's the souls going? So the souls from those mobs are feeding those statues. Those statues are giving you certain buffs or certain uh, items. Like they, they could even give you chests. Watch us play live on twitch.tv slash Mogdan. This video was made possible by our amazing channel members. If you want to support by becoming a channel member yourself, you are going to get access to amazing emotes that you can use in the comment section or during live streams, member only polls and lots of other awesome perks. Shout out to all of you awesome badasses. Thank you so much for supporting us.